an interesting thing that's going to happen. It's, it is definitely a once-in-a-lifetime event. Uh, it hasn't happened in the continental United States since 1979. It hasn't happened in the state of Alabama since 1918. So when you start talking about a once-in-a-lifetime thing, this is your opportunity. So there's a lot of anxiety out there. There's a lot of concern over the safety of eyes. Um, of course, the safest thing is to not watch it, to stay indoors, to watch it on video or, or pictures that other people have taken. The next best option, if you want to be a part of it, want to partake of the, the event and not be left out, is to use the Eclipse glasses. You want to make sure that they're certified. You want to make sure that they have the ISO recommendation of, that says ISO 12312-2. Okay? That, that means that the filter in the glasses is dark enough to prevent any damage to your eye. If you live by the, the adage that our, our parents and grandparents always told us, never look directly at the sun, <laughs> that's, that's the most valuable thing. So whenever you put these on and look at the eclipse, uh, you have to keep them on the whole time. Uh, we're The area of Alabama that we live in, we're going to have about 95% coverage, which means we will not be in the range of totality. There's about a 70 mile wide band that will be completely eclipsed. But since we're under just the part that's partially eclipsed, 95%, you have to keep the glasses on the entire time. But we'll never reach the point of full eclipse. While you're watching the eclipse the entire time in the state of Alabama, you need to have the glasses on. So when you're getting ready to look at the eclipse itself, you want to walk to the spot where you're going to find it, put the glasses on while you look down, and then look up. So to put them on, you want to make sure that you're in the spot where you're going to observe it. Look down, put your glasses on, and then look up at the sun. Look at the sun until you're done, just a few minutes or a few seconds. Then you want to look back down and take them off. Never take them off while you're looking at the sun or you could do damage to your eyes. So inspect your glasses. If they're scratched or they're damaged in any way, don't use them. Uh, I believe NASA's website has how to build a pinhole projection from scratch from like a piece of poster board and aluminum foil where you can watch the projection onto the ground like a, on the concrete. You can watch as the circle becomes covered by the shadow of the moon. So there's indirect ways to look at it too. But just remember, if there's any question, better safe than sorry. Don't look directly at the sun. Retina damage, you know, more dangerous for smaller children. Does it matter? Well, damage to your retina is the same across all ages, so it doesn't matter. Children do not need to be left unattended because they may have a tendency to want to take the glasses off just out of pure curiosity. So, children do not need to be left unattended while observing the eclipse because curiosity always gets the best of us. Adults, all the way down to little kids, and they'll look through the glasses. And so when you have the glasses on, if you look around, you can't see anything. They're that dark. The only thing you can see through them is the sun. So then we'll, we have a tendency to get curious and be like, hey, what was that? And they'll take them off. So please, please, please make sure that you are with your children if they're going to look at the eclipse. There's been a lot of concern about the recalls on Amazon and things like that. The American Academy for the Solar Eclipse has a website where you can go to and look up the approved manufacturers for those that are ISO approved. So you can always double check that if you have any concern about your glasses.